Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Reginald Skeeverfist, a lonely old man, an ex-guard, his children have all grown up and left, and he's got nothing left in life to live for other than to find Sovereign Guard. That's right, this is a permadeath playthrough on an extremely unforgiving mod pack named do not go gentle that's right and uh yeah it's uh, literally a mud crab can kick my ass right now now as for storyline old reginald here he's a retired guard and he's you know he's not poor he's quite wealthy he's got money to spend and he's going to go spend it, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be the first thing. Now, it is a permadeath thing, and I'm going to try and get him to live as long as possible, but it literally may be halfway through this first recording, and he's done. Because a slight breeze can kill us. I'm not even joking. This mod is extremely hard, and I've made it even more difficult. Now, I want to say that too. I played this mod pack through. It's extremely stable. It's great. Um, I had some trouble getting it going and abandoned on Discord the guy, I believe, who makes this, or he at least helps with it. Um, was fantastic, alright? Perfect experience. Now, I have added things on top, alright? So, any instability and things like that is probably my fault, okay? It ran perfect before. I just wanted to, I, I needed to add a few things that I, I just can't live without. Anyway, let's get on with it, ladies and gentlemen. Reginald Skeeverfist. He's got to go into town. What's the time? Yep. He's waiting on some stuff he's ordered to pick up, and he's got to order a few more. Whoa! Stop running. And he's got to order a few more things. Now, this is his home. He lives on a nice farm out in the middle of... Um, up near the outside of... My brain. Outside of uh, White Run on the tundra. And that's all I was saying. He is... An ex-guard. He's got his gear down here, but he's not allowed to wear it anymore. Let's go and have a look and go down memory lane with Reginald. Yes. <sighs> here he is in his armor room. There's not much here, and that's what... He hasn't lived much of a life. And he wants to get out there and live some more. He's got his old... His gear he first wore on the job as a guard many years ago when he was a young man. Look at that. And his old sword here. It's blunt. It's no good. It does no damage anymore. We're going to need a new sword, ladies and gentlemen. But he's looking for a life of adventure, old Reginald. And here was his senior guard gear. Now, no longer is he allowed to wear it. He's allowed to keep it out of honor and respect for his duty. But he cannot wear it anymore. And so that is something that old Reginald Skeeverfist must look into. He needs some clothes. He wants to travel and see the world of Skyrim. No longer just inside the city gates of Whiterun. Now, he's got his farm and clothes on here. Let's change into something a little bit more decent. Belted tunic on, I believe. He's got some nice clothes. Old <laughs> Reginald. As I said, he's quite wealthy. He saved all his money. And his farm made income as well. So let's let's put on some... Nordic... Uh, boots and stuff. Alright, here we go. What's, what do we got here? Fine shoes. So what's the difference between those? Nothing. Warmth. Keep the warm ones. Let's put on some fine clothes before we head into town, shall we, Reginald? Now, he's a bit of a cranky old man. He's not a fond of today's youth. Now, how does this look? Is he suitable to go into town? My God, Reggie. You look fantastic. All right. Let's get some gloves. While we're in there, we'll probably grab a meal and stuff too. So let's make sure... You know, we don't want all of his money. You don't want to carry all of his money on him, and he probably is. So let's have a look. Where is our money? 
Um, yes, as you can see down here. I hope that's showing up for you guys. 14,000 septums. Now, in this mod, that's not as much as you might think. All right? Either way, we're going to drop some off because he doesn't need to carry all this sort of thing. All right? So, we've got the gloves. Definitely keeping that, but we're going to drop off some of the septums. Here, we're going to drop off... We want to be carrying about 5,000 septums. So, 4,000. That'll do. Okay. Um, we are going to go spending. That is the thing. We are going shopping, ladies and gentlemen. And old Reggie here is no longer afraid of spending his hard-earned money. He wants to see the world, as I was saying. Now! Let's put these gloves on. Whoops, we've got to put these clothes back in his drawer. As I was saying, this may not last long, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, I could literally walk out this door and die. So, let's take it easy. He's got his steel knife. Not going to use his old sword either. It's too blunt and rusted. So, fall from glory. Now, doesn't that say everything about old Reggie boy? All right. Let's take his steel war axe. He's got from his old days. We're going to put it on our hip. Bang. We are right to go into town, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to order some more things. And we've got to buy the things that are ready for us. Oh, and here we are. It's a bit, it's a bit brisk. But the air is comfortable. Yes. And is that death literally right there? That could be bad. Who's this wandering around my home? Well, well, Felmore! You bloody. What do they call it? The Dominion? Causing all this bloody trouble? Oh, I don't know, Jesus. You. If you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. Boy. I am a Tholmor Dugisia on important business that you are interfering with. Well, oh, well what are you doing in when my scar? The Emperor wasn't lying to his elven masters when he agreed the Empire would give up false gods. Now, I can switch views too, can now, I? Yes, I can. Look at that. Oh, well, I never. <laughs> Bloody rudeness. Now, Reggie, he only worships one god. And that is... Uh, how does the law work in this? Who owns Sovereign Guard? Is it Akatosh? Can't remember. Maybe that is Talos, because doesn't Talos turn into the... Anyway! However it goes. Oh, how dare they insult my home. Now, look at this beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Now, the point of this series is old Reggie goes for his morning run, keeping fit. He's a fit old fella, Reggie. Don't mistake that. He's just... He's gone a bit weak from retirement, and that's what he needs to build up his strength again. Yes! Now, the point of this is... Uh, each character that dies, we will make another character afterwards. This is permadeath. Alright? And it may be short... Life, it may be a long life. We're just going to play it by ear, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Now, another thing too, I am uncertain yet, and if you see this bit that I'm about to talk about, I've obviously done it in long form. Now, I'm unsure whether to edit this, to do edited series, uh, make it shorter episodes, or whether to keep it long form. But if you're watching this, you let me know down there. Alright? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do this first one in long form. And if you're seeing this and you want... You think it'd be better shorter and edited. Um, I could do that. I could make it look pretty rad too. Or we can just go minute by minute. So that you know that I'm not cheating. Because it is hardcore. And please believe me when I say hardcore. Uh, playthrough. I, at the moment, anything could kick my ass and I'm dead. Like, 
I have no intention of traveling these roads without some sort of backup. All right, Roll well, original. He's not stupid. He knows it's a dangerous, it's a dangerous world out there, and the kids these days, they have got no respect for their elders. No. So he knows if he's gonna go on wandering, he's gonna need to pay someone for help. And he has heard on the winds of some people looking to travel. Um, disgruntled guard in Windhelm, I believe. Uh, he did hear of as quit. Maybe he's looking for a new purpose in life. We'll see. Let's we'll wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here we are. His old stomping grounds in Windhelm. I'm not Windhelm. Whiterun. Look at this. Now, this is an awesome mod pack. By far the most stable that I've played. But as I was saying, it's just missing a, just a couple of little things. It needs Sunhelm. Alright. Definitely needs some Sunhelm. And it needs the Sons of Skyrim mod. And I may try and um, put some other stuff on it. Now, let's get inside here. And see if our order is ready. I bloody hope so. Oh, I've taken forever. Warbear, where are you? Is that his name? Warbear? What's his name? I forgot. Warbear! Welcome to war, maidens. Now don't let the name... Where go. is my order? Is it ready? Nah, I don't think so. Well, well, I never. Well, you better best hurry up because getting impatient. <laughs> Actually, while we're here, while we're here, Warbear, we're we going to order some more things. As well as big. Maces, oh, daggers, I can't. That sort of thing. Um, uh, yeah, I can't until... Good well, business with you. Well, I might as well go shopping elsewhere then. If you're going to be like... Ugh. I'll be expecting... Uh... Courier boy. In the hour! My god. Blacksmith these days. Sigurd? For Bellathor at the General Goods Store. No one gives a flying fuck, you stupid little twat, Sigurd. I will beat you up with... Cut off your arm and beat you to death with it. Let's leave it these... Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. My... Leaving their filth around. Wouldn't have happened when I was... <laughs> it wouldn't have happened when I was... I got you. you there. Get down there and pick up that stuff. I wish I could point. Now, what have we got here? We've got a missives board. Hmm... Perhaps old Reggie boy looking for something to do to pass the time. You've got to deliver a letter to Riverwood. Whew. That could be dangerous. Or a hunt thief. I don't know how any of these work, so... Hunt thief in the pale. Now, that's pretty far away, I believe. We'll take it. I wouldn't mind going and seeing Riverwood at some point, so we'll take the letter to Riverwood as well. Gather Hawkbeak. I'm not going to worry about that shit. <sighs> now, I'm going to try and make these an hour long. So, the first episode is probably... Look at this! Just leaving helmets around. Um, this episode may be a little bit longer. Because it's going to be... Oh, just filth laying about everywhere. It's unbelievable. Here, I'll pick it up. Oh. Oh, get over there. Um... Now, here's something else I need to test. A well bucket. Can I? Can fill up my things from there. Ha <laughs> ha! Good to know. Alright. What's the time? It is 10.27. So if you look at the top there, you see the bar. Alright. The date. Now, I have seasons turned on, so I'm not sure how that works, but... The, my real life time is on the right, and game time is on the left. If you're wondering. So you can see I'm recording this at lunchtime. Yeah, let's get in here and have some lunch ourselves, shall we? Let me know if you need anything or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Well What's your name again? I can't remember. Hula is it? Hulda. If it's worth Hula. need, how about shopping up some wood for the fires? Oh no, well, 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 well I don't need anything like that, but 
I am looking for work. You got any other leads? Look at this. Some of the yard's men came by and left Ooh, this bounty oh, letter. A bounty letter? <laughs> Okay. Now, <laughs> I can tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, that there is no way in hell we can do that right now. We will absolutely die. That is full-blown suicide mission. All right. Of course. Give me a full meal. <laughs> Thank you. Just let me know. No, we're going to sit here and let an hour pass. Listen to some music. Yes. Wake up, dear. Yes, mum. Ugh. What I have to do is buy Reginald a hat. I wonder if, um... Oh, hello, dear. I just had a drink, thank you very much. Let's see what you got on the menu. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Look. Well, you know what? I am in the mood for... I am rich, so am I going to go for the expensive black bite? No, we're not that. I'm going to go for some mead. Oh, thank you very much. No, please. No more questions. Well, I didn't have any fucking questions, you idiot. All right, piss off. Let me drink this goddamn ale. <laughs> Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious. Sadia, dear? Well, yes, well, well, <sighs> Things are getting a bit hazy. <laughs> oh, wait, I was going to pass time, wasn't I? Let's wait for... what? We'll stay in here for two hours. <sighs> Alright, let's get moving. Whoa! Who the hell are you? You look. Stendar's mercy be upon you. Oh, you're Stendar. You look badass, my friend. Like you hunt Daedra? Look at the abominations that prey on mortals vampires, wolves, witches. But the Daedra are the worst. They're Maybe Reginald wants to be a thing. And now. In the eyes of the God of mercy. Listen. I'm happy for you guys to help steer which way Reginald goes in life, okay? You write it down there in the comments. If you think he should be a, a vigilant, Stendar, you tell me, all right? Stendar. Let me know. That could be cool. Old Reggie, he's aimless in life. He's retired and he's looking for adventure and a way to keep fit and healthy. Now, who are you? Oh, shit. What happened there? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Ooh, look at that pie. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> the original favourite pie. Ooh, it actually looks amazing. Fuck, that looks good. <laughs> I'm hungry too. Right, let's get out here. Now, are we even going to be able to get the first level? Yep. Look at these kids running around. Ooh, here's their parents. Bloody kids these days, I don't know. Now, we've got to buy Reggie Boy a hat, don't we? What are you looking at? Goofy looking fuck. If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sabior. Chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my selection of the finest quality meat. Can't believe I'm riff raff What do we got in here? No, we'll go see old mate here. What's his name? Bellathor, is it? Bellathor, that's it. See, I'm remembering. Look. Bellathor. I need a hat. My head's... My head's cutting cold. My hair is not as thick as it used to be. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you cracked me up, you little house business, old boy. Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on, on the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since you are... <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah. well, you know, COVID, man, it really <laughs> fucked everything up. Well, I have what you need. I don't know about that. You're not trying to rip me off there, Melithor, are you? <laughs> I need a hat. Now, you got any hat? I don't want a fishing hat. A real man's hat. 
Oh, Reggie, come on. Got no hats, mate. Dark leather backpack. No, we don't want that. Um. Whoa, we do probably need some basic camping supplies, however. Yes. Never know what you, when you may need some camping supplies. All right. Uh, what else do we need? I think that's about it. We need from you. It's a shopping day today. Episode one is a shopping day for our Reginald scheme of this. The fourth, by the way. Uh, what's in here? What do you got? Everything's for sale, my friend. You need visit no other <laughs> shops today. Nice house you got. Well, that's nonsense, Bellathor. You don't even have a hat for me. For Christ's sake, boy. Uh, um... Now, who would have a hat for me? Is there any stairs? I mean, any stairs. I was looking at the stairs. Is there any shops up here? I can't remember. Maybe the Huntsman guy's got... What we got? Just the usual. That idiot over the side there. Shut the hell up, boy! Um, that's the... Uh, it took me weeks to find that thieves den. I can't Don't care about the thieves den. What's that up there? That's the death tomb thing. Hmm. Yeah, no shops. Uh, Shut up, children. We love kids these days. I don't know. Good on that little girl. That's how you, uh, you know, get about making a living. Who's this up here? Stand over people. If that little punts is too much of a punts to uh, be you, Commander Chaos. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. Oh well, fair enough then. I should know you actually, because I was an old. I was once a guard just like you. Now yeah, you, me. I don't want to have to travel all the way to solitude to get a good pieces out here if you're bloody hat. Right, More what have you got? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I need a hat. Oh, not much in the way of hats around this place. Uh, hmm. Don't forget to check inside the shop. I don't now, actually, the best I could get you thing. to um, make some stuff me. for me. Man, Steve, need something? Okay, let's have a look here. <laughs> Now, we are going to need a sword. We're going to go a two-handed sword. Great sword. That's what Reggie knows. Right, Broadsword, what have we got? That's a good amount of damage. Great sword. Can I zoom in with that? It's all right. Okay. Iron great sword. We're not poor, you know. Reggie, he can afford the finer things in life, so... We're not going to just settle with uh, that. Ooh, a knight sword could be cool. Hmm. Not no orc sword. No, sir. Sata was... Nah. Uh, that's cool. I like that. Seasoned Traveler Greatsword. All right. Um, no, that looks a bit fancy for Reginald's liking. All right. Um, where was it? Seasonal travel. That's pretty good. That or... 151. 166, that's better. What are the... Let's see. Okay, yeah. Reggie's going for the beastly sword. Oh, well, thank you. I'll have the... A seasoned traveler sword, thank you very much. Now, I'm going to need a bow, too. I could probably just buy a bow, but let's have a look. Because I think these come out well made as well, so... Damage 48 for a long bow. Um, let's be really rich about this. And Royal Elven Bow. Now, old Reggie, he's not racist... I have got plans for a racist character. 
um, that could be funny, but I don't like the purple. What about Gilded? Nah. Bosma Bow? 34 damage, though. That's not very good. See, there's other ones here that have way more damage. Um, Quicksilver? That looks like my actual takedown bow. <laughs> it legitimately does look like my bow I've got here at home. Um, I don't want crossbows. I need Imperial Heavy Bow. Hmm. Alright, let's buy that. Okay. 48. How many? Actually, I should look. Yeah, so that's good damage. And we'll buy some arrows. Um. Not silk. We might need some silver arrows eventually, but we won't get them just yet. Um. We'll just take some. Hmm. Fire arrows could be good. Look at all the options we got here, man. Can't get steel? Oh, steel arrow, here it is. Only 30 though. We'll get 60 steel arrows. Alright. Uh, done the bow, we don't need a shield. Alright. Do we? No. He doesn't need a shield. Now we need a hat! <laughs> Reginald needs a hat. Alright. This royal elven stuff there. I'm, I'm showcasing this here a bit too. So you just sit there and watch! Alright. Um, we got light silver armor. I think... I don't know. Is Reggie... No, Reggie's a heavy armor guy. Because uh, he... So we're going to need heavy armor, yeah. So this light armor can go away. Whoa, there's heaps here. Okay. Silver knight armor. Look at that. Now, he's not that flashy. That's too too fancy for his... Like, looks cool. Looks really cool. Um, Maybe the silver armor. That looks pretty beastly. What else have we got? I do like that. Hmm. Whoa. Boreal Hunter armor. That could be up Reggie's thing. See, that's flashy. Not a flashy guy, alright? Hmm. Oh, Reggie, he's not. Oh, what's this? Iron plate armor. See, that's more Reggie's thing, but I don't like that chin on that. Silver boots. Whoa. Cyrodiilic iron armor. Eh. Hmm. That's cool. What brings you to the market? Look at all these options, right? I suppose you don't need to I've got about that. A farm, too many no. options. No, not too many. It's actually great. Hmm. Well, let's look for a, just a, a Q-Race. Q-Race? Q-Race? Okay. Nothing there that really suits old Reggie Boy. Maybe the Boreal Hunter. Um, 257. It's not very warm, though. But we're still in summer. Hmm. Silver Knight's cool. Uh, alright. Well, let's have a just look at the light armor. I think. Yeah. See, they've got cooler sort of traveling light armors. I don't think Reggie Boy is a light armor guy. That Vagabond's pretty cool. He's rich, but he's not that rich, you know? So... That. Leather Scout armor. We don't need the furs. Barbarian armor. That looks a bit flashy, doesn't it? 
Hmm. Yeah, is there barbarian armor? Barbarian boots. Yeah, that's just that. Uh, what do you call it? I'm talking to myself here. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, there's too much. <laughs> How is Reggie gonna do this? All right, cyrodelic heavy iron armor. I don't know. Let's try this boreal armor. You know, we'll give that a go. Now, what about boots? Boreal hunt. We'll just go the full boreal. Um, I think we probably could change it up a little bit. See, is there's no no bore. Oh, yes, there is. Hunter's gauntlets. Oh, yeah. They look all right. And the helmet. What does the helmet look like? That's probably going to make or break it. Oh, they don't have one. Huh. Okay. So there's no boreal helmet. Okay. Well, that's all we... Oh, thank you very much for it. Now, I did order that great sword, didn't I? I did. Yes. Fantastic. Let's have a look at daggers real quick. We've got our steel dagger, but I wouldn't mind a better... Yeah, see, like that. Like a good hunting dagger. Have we got any good hunting daggers? No. I do like the look of the orcish dagger, but we're going to go the seasoned traveler's dagger. Yes. Now, that's going to send me pretty much broke, I think. And we uh, need to pass the time now, I believe. We need to pass like 24 hours. What are we going to do in that meantime? I guess we could... Hmm. How long is this going for now? It's only 32 minutes. Fantastic. Okay. I know sometimes playing farm sim, the time flies, man. Okay. And yeah, what's Reggie going to do? Oh, that's right. We had the thing to do. Collect this letter to Hod. Search for the Shrine of Talos. Okay. And this. Find the thief in the pale. Silver garnet ring. Now, how the hell do we go about that? Is there going to be... Oh, yeah. That's another thing. I don't have a map. <laughs> so, things are going to be... Uh, interesting. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Something that I added fucked the um, map up. That's my fault. Not the mod list creator, okay? Just so you that's clear. But that's alright. So basically, what I have to do is... Um, I wish there was... Maybe I could look for like a paper map mod that I have to hold. That could be cool. That could be really cool. Hmm... Let's get in here and have another meal. Hmm. Come on in. Yeah. I have got a backpack on order, which is uh, another thing that I'm waiting for. All right. So, pull up. How about chopping up some wood for the fires? No, I don't need any of that. What I need is a meal. Of course. Okay. And what rumors have, have you heard? There have been rumors of suspicious activity around Helgen. Legion patrols have been spotted in the area. Okay. Um, what other rumors have you heard? The shrine of Azura. Shrine of Azura. Yeah. Okay. This is just all the classic. The Gilder Green, Big Tree, Alburn. It's yep. part of the Temple of Kinnared. People want Tanika okay. to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Hmm. Need anything else? Okay. Just let me know. Hmm. Right. So. I guess we go home. It's your excuse. You're going to cost too much money. I guess we... What we really need to do is find a follower. Oh, Reggie, he's not quite ready to hit the road yet. We could take a carriage, I guess. Hmm. 
Why, yes, Holder. I'll have four bottles of wine with juniper berries, seven bottles of alto, and a venison with bitter green sauce. Are you joking? Jeez. About wine. Sounds like quite a meal. In fact, forget the venison. Oh, I did it again. I was trying to pick up that piece of bread. I forget sometimes that I'm recording. All right. Well, Reggie boy, what are you going to do? This guy. <laughs> Who are you that looks so similar to moi? Patron of the Alfred Battleborn. I'm sure you know well. Oh, yes, I do, obviously, being a guard from the area. Oh, shit! So juicy. No handouts today, Brendan. Excuse me. You'll scare off my paying customers. Oh, just cuts, one apple, Carlotta. Just one tiny apple. I'll pay you to give the guy an apple, Carlotta. Jeez. Oh, Yazolda. That's who we're looking for. My brain. No, no. Now where's she? She's over here somewhere. Well, look at this. Is this her house? Yazolda. You home? Zelda. Ah, oh, there you are. Nice place you got here. <laughs> nice place you got here, Zelda. I don't remember to put the voice up. I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. Oh, yes, sure you are. Yes. Um. Now, I'm here for the job. Of course. Okay. Now I need to head up to Goodbye. Riverwood. Yes. Tell him I was asking about him. Now I'm good. Nicole can fuck off. Alright. Get moving. He's got a purpose in life. Oh! I'm looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Well, it's about bloody time, I tell you. And that would be our gear. Let's have a read. I'm running out of finished commission. Thank you. Wolfberth Warbear. It's a cool name. Not as cool as Skeever Fist, though. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. I can't even remember what we ordered, to be honest. Because it takes, like... It takes a fair while. Welcome to War Maidens. Now, don't let the name worry. About my order. Is my order ready? Of course. Fantastic! What do we got? Silver light boots, really? Now I did order that, that, and that. Fantastic! Um, we might as well take the silver boots. I'm not sure why they're there. Must have misclicked. Now, is there anything else we need for the road? Yes. We've got small weapons as well as big maces, daggers, that sort of thing. I need your crafting skills. I need a bag. Right. Um, what would it be under? Um, oh, and I need a hat too. They're just hoods. Nah. Um, what's this? Order staffs. Misc. Animal pack? What is this? A cute animal pack for your pets can be given to Hilda and Scritch. Okay. Um, we don't need intermediate camp. No, we don't need that yet. What we need? What was I doing? My brain! It hurts. Uh, a bag. That's what we're doing. Bag, 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 bag. Body. Here we go. Now, I don't want none of these fancy, schmancy, big backpacks. Just one of these little ones. Look at this. Did I already get... I think I just bought one of these, didn't I? I think I just bought one. Give me a look. I did! See? Thinking ahead, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's look at this. We got some well-made gloves and a well-made hood. Let's have a look at this on top of... Oh, my God. Reggie, you looking... 
Dangerous, my friend. Very dangerous indeed. All right. Doesn't go well with the noble fur clothes, though, so. And that... <laughs> Look at his legs. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. Now, I guess we put the fur line boots back on. My dildo's vibrating there. I apologize. Okay. We don't need the hood right now, but we will put that on ready to go. Oh, look at our nice little backpack we got there. Bloody beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, I guess we head home. Um, for the evening. Let's get our jog back on. Now, we've got to deliver that note by the 20th, so that's tomorrow's job. I guess we could make our way up. I know there's going to be some dangers, but maybe Reggie could handle it. All right, let's get running. Let's get jogging, old Reginald. Keep ourselves fit. Um, yeah, I don't know, because I don't want to kill Reggie so soon. Um, and I'm not joking. Like a wolf. Or two will absolutely fucking destroy us. Here we go. What do you got? I have traveled far. Oh, they're nice pipe. To serve you. Oh, very Thank good. You. I love your beard. What have you got here? What have you got in the way of weapons? Again, we are not poor, so. I've got to remember that. That looks cool. Big blades hanging off it. Um. Leather backpack, leather helmet, we don't need that. Okay. No, we're good. I don't think you have anything else we need. You to warm sands. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Lovely fellow. How very kind. Could buy a horse. Hmm. Reggie is getting old. Uh oh. Starting to rain. Ugh, better put our hood on. There we go. Look at him. Let's get back. Um, do we go home? Head to Riverwood in the morning. We head up now. We could always stay in Riverwood, I guess. Yes. <coughs> Let's hit the road. Up to Riverwood. Get our jog on, shall we? If we survive. And uh, that's it. Legitimately is a big if. If we even survive this trip. Okay. Whoa. Is the storm foreboding? <laughs> the road. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. Now... The fuck? Oh shit! I fucking scared the fuck out- <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bear. <laughs> A bear! Run! <laughs> the fish jump, jumping up the cliff here. Now, I know there are wolves up on this road. At least there are in the original game, so... We must be careful. Let's get our axe out. Oh yeah, there they are. Yep. Um. Hmm. Can we go around? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Where? Wolves on the road. Oh my god. I can't take on Ah uh, Wolf, I don't think. 
It'll fucking kill us, for sure. Let's go up and around. Oh, boy. What a storm. Where am I? Now, of course, running randomly up into hills like this is just as dangerous. Poor old Reggie boy. We're gonna try and get around. It's getting late. There's a storm happening. Alright, we made it. Not mucking around with wolves right now. We can get ourselves a good companion. I'd, I'd attempt it. And you may all be laughing at me going, you goddamn pussy. But listen! This is a no-joke mod pack, alright? A, a, literally, a single sword stroke without armor will cut me open like um, a drunk lady's legs at the club, alright? It'll just open me up and ready for all to see and have a go at. So you just calm down, alright? Oh, we made it. Oh, 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 freezing out there. Wolves on the road. Dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Take our hat off. Not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. <sighs> this you hear me? gentleman. Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't he looks like a fighter. Nice haircut. Companion friend. Ooh, actually. Oh, then you're in luck. Okay. I reckon I've killed more men. <laughs> oh, look at these options. You've killed. You've killed more than fourteen hundred and forty men. You, huh? At this rate, <laughs> I guess I better change it to seconds then. <laughs> what a wanker! But who's counting? You, sir, are a proper wanker. Um. Yeah, I don't care All right, uh, then. about you. You're a douche. Alright, let's, um... Let's go see these guys. Good evening, female Breton. Delphine? Yes, I've been poking around. I'd like to rent a room, thank you. Fifty... Fifty bucks! Reggie's horrified. Right. Um, you there? We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. I need a full hey, meal, please. Tell. Of course. Thank you. Um, we've got, okay, we've got a full meal in us. Until next time. All right, let's um go and have a rest. I believe it's this room. Oh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. For that day, let's get to bed. Wake up in the morning. Um, spend 13 hours here. We'll wake up and go deliver this letter. Um, talk to the blacksmith, I reckon. And then that'll probably do the episode there. I would say. Uh, hungry and thirsty again. I'm well rested, however. Let's go uh, three more hours. I want the day to be well underway before we before we get up here. I am retired. Uh, Reggie is retired after all. Yeah, it's the first time I've sort of done anything like this. So you have to forgive me when I break character. We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. Hey, I need another tell. feed, mate. Of course. Jeez. All right, let's get another full meal into us. As I said, we're not poor. Right. We're rich. We'll go see... We'll go deliver this letter. And then... Uh, talk to the blacksmith and probably the shop owner, too. Oh, beautiful day. Whoa. Who are you? Greetings, stranger. The name's Hjormir, and I'm at your service. Or me. If there's anything I can help you with. Perhaps you hmm. need your boots shined. Or your tunic. Well, or a servant! Well. Um. Maybe do you have a quill? Oh, what? 
I knew I forgot something. Is it? Okay. Dear Dragon. Dragon. I'm going. Or was it coming? Confound it, boy! <laughs> yes, that's what you need. Confound it, boy! I'm your personal jester, and you can mock me for your amusement. Well... But I can starting to sound like a bit of a that. cabin boy here. Jesus. Your boots, gather your kindling, and carry your quiver. And well, you know what? As you shoot them. Away with you, sycophant. <laughs> That's really? cool. I'll do everything you ask. Just say the word. Well, it looks like Reggie's just picked up a follower. Um. We'll ask these questions later. For now, we've got a job Looking to do. Come on, back again. Follow me, young man. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I don't need to carry this bag anymore if you're coming with me, right? You come here. Small towns are a great place to find We heading out? Uh, I've got all your Can I give you my shit? I think I can. Here. Take whatever you need. Come here, boy. Carry the oh this is fucking cool. <laughs> I've got a boy that can make fall over you around. Uh he's probably not gonna be much of a fighter, but that's alright. Let's give him the backpack. Uh, and we better give him some gloves, keep his tootsies warm. Now, what are you got in the way of shoes, young man? We'll <laughs> <laughs> have to get you some clothes. If you're going to be my servant, you can't be walking around like some filthy peasant. <laughs> um, now, where are we delivering this letter? Over here somewhere. Right. Come along, boy! <laughs> Um, I think Hyoramir now represents you guys. I think that's how that's going to work for sure. This, <laughs> this boy is you all, all you subscribers personified, alright? That's... <laughs> I have a letter here. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Until well, thank next you. Time. My god. That beautiful hair, luscious. Alright. Hmm. Are these free wood chopping axes by any chance? Oh, they are. Woodcutter's axe. Boy, huh? come here. Oh, sorry. I was a Subscribers. A goblin horde. Right. Let's trade. That's you're talking you shit said, now, boy. Here. Right? You wanted to trade. Here's... Take this. Can't cut anything with it. In fact, here. Not a problem. Like I said. Just think of me as a two-legged pack mule. Take this steel war axe. <laughs> right behind you. I need you. I need you, boy, to jump in front of any dangerous things that come my way. Follow me. All right. Well, that's a good job done. It got us up to river, and, and we've got a servant boy who is now all of you subscribers. Yes. Over here, subbies. Blah. Um, stop in here and see if we can't buy ourselves a nice hat. Drunk again. Well, one drunk of us right now. Something. Which I was drunk right now. Oh, oh they're there. You there? Well, I don't know what you overheard, but... Riverwood don't care. Is still what have you got for sale? A bit of this and a bit of that. Looking for a hat. Ah. Oh. Hmm. That's a peasant's hat. Hmm. What else have you got? A wooden sword. I should give you guys a wooden sword. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a You there. Mess. Subscribers, let's go. Follow me. Go and see the blacksmith. Why you got a shovel on your back? Every day we get visitors in Riverwood. You there, hmm. Alva? I need to arm much my young compatriot here. He's got to jump in front of any dangers that may step in front of me. He looks like a light armor kind of fella, doesn't he? Light cuirass, scale. 
don't really have anything we need. Um, it's gonna. I should give him a shield, but um, okay, nothing really there that we need. Uh, oh wait. What's this? Are you handy with a tanning rack? It would seem so. Oh, for real? Okay. So you can get him to do all that. There you go. Anyway, don't need it at the moment. Come along, boy! We're going back down to Whiterun, yes. I want to see him jump in front of death for me. Who are you? I like your hair, young lady. Old lady. If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Come along, boy! Embarrass me in front of the lady. I know what I'm going to do for the end of this episode. <laughs> Come along, subscribers. <laughs> Follow me. Someone over there. Now you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. We heading out? Uh, I've got all your equipment cleaned and um I need you to do something for what me. What is it? Need something cooked, polished, lecture? What can I do? Um Go over there. Wait. Oh my god, a bandit. Oh shit, we're actually gonna die. Save me! Get over there! Young man, I'll crouch here and wait. Go! Go, subscribers! Go get him! Don't just stand there, young man! Get him! Can I throw rocks or something? Better put my hat on. Don't come any closer. I'll stab the shit out of you. He's actually pretty damaged. What do you think, boy? Can we take him? <laughs> I'm gonna die right now, isn't it? Come on then, boy. Come on. Back, back, you devil. Back. Did you see that, boy? I haven't killed anyone in. Jesus. All right, let's take his cup of water. <laughs> Why not? Iron sword, well made. Leather curious. We don't want that. Ooh, here's some money for you, boy. Right. Um, we want the iron sword. Ooh. Ooh, did you see that, Yoramy? I grab you by the shoulders, subscribers. Did you see that? I've killed a man. <laughs> and on that, that's the end of the episode, you scumbags. We will see you, larrikins and legends, in the next one. All right? Now, get down on your knees, little cowboy. I've got something for you to shine. <laughs>